Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. A few months ago, probably nearly a year ago now actually, I made a video with Timu Art Products and I made one with Lego style products from Timu. And that was the last time that I have purchased from Timu. And there are a number of reasons why. At the end of the day, we can only do our best as individuals. We only have so much power over these things and stuff is just so expensive now. And not everyone is fortunate enough to have enough money to just buy wherever, whenever, from whoever they want. So today we are gonna be seeing if the Timu Prismacolor pencil set that is significantly cheaper than pretty much everywhere else is the same set that you buy from art stores. Timu themselves are a marketplace for a lot of different businesses. And while they do all come from the same place, at the end of the day, Timu is not a store in itself. They are a marketplace with multiple sellers that sell products through Timu. And I've never bought anything from Timu except for the two videos that I did with Timu products. And trust me, it would have been very easy to buy so much wedding decor on Timu, but I did not buy anything from Timu. And I say this from a place of privilege that I can make that choice. But my point is, not everyone can make that conscious choice to not buy from Timu. If you're looking to buy something as a gift for your child, or it's something you need for your business, or it's just something that you need, and it's so significantly cheaper, on a website like Timu, I don't think it's fair for people to criticize someone for buying from there if financially it's either their only choice or it makes sense for them. Okay, so first things first, here we have our Timu Prismacolor pencil set. And this is the one that I just purchased from Michaels yesterday. So visually, this looks exactly like every Prismacolor set. Like I cannot, like with any shadow of a doubt, differentiate this from another Prismacolor set that I've had. The only difference is there is a rip in the side here, which probably happened during shipping and it's probably why this is a little bit loose. And it has a lot of this on the back here. It's just like a warning label, not suitable for children under 36 months. And then there's another label here from France that says something about recycling. I'm not something like that. It's almost like it got imported to Europe and then came back again. There is a label right here that says made in United States. This is the one I bought from Michaels yesterday. So it is exactly the same set as far as we know. I don't know, I can't, I can't see a difference. The, the boxes, the quality of the boxes is like exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is again, the one from Timu has that manufacturing label and this one does not. Even looking at the quality of the box, I remember when I was a teenager, I bought a DVD from eBay and it was so blatantly fake because the graphics were crap on the actual case of it. So I, I always figure like, if you know something's not real, the quality of the thing that it's in is gonna be bad because it's a fake. This right here, what you're looking at right now is the Michaels quality. And this right here is the Timu. Quality. I'm gonna put this side by side now so you can kind of compare them. Let me just lift off this case actually. If I just take this part off. These right here, these are the pencils. Let me increase the brightness for you. Okay, so this is what the pencils look like on the Timu set. When you compare it to this one, I would say that these pencils are definitely sharper than the ones from the box on Timu. And because I may be a little biased towards the fact I know which one's which, I'm gonna bring my fiance in and see if he can visually tell if there's a difference between the two. And I'm not gonna tell him which is which, I'm just curious to see if maybe by his eyes he sees a difference. So one of these is from Michaels, one of these is from Timu. I'm curious if you can like see. I don't wanna take the wrapper off yet because it's the only way I can differentiate them. Uh, it's definitely a slight difference. You think so? This one might look a little more sharp. Is one of them a knockoff? We don't actually know that. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the lighting, but they look about the same to me. What about the pencils? Like if you compare the pencils, that's what I was doing mostly. This picture looks less sharp. Mm-hmm. 
That looks like it's like a photocopy of that. You can look if you look at the wording, you can make that out mm -hmm. more clear than this. Yeah. This one looks more dull. Yeah. Down here, it sort of laps over a little bit. Oh, I didn't notice that. It's like wasn't centered right. Yeah. So it wasn't just me with the pencils, and he made a good point that this one, and this might just be being picky, this might actually just happen as a manufacturing issue, it does sort of overlap here on the edge, whereas on this one, it doesn't. It doesn't overlap. And again, this is just me being picky, and most people would have absolutely no idea if they didn't have the one from an art store versus the one from Timu. But obviously, when something is so much cheaper, you do tend to believe that something's a little off. This is the one from Michaels. And then the one right here from Timu is not quite as sharp. Now, a fellow YouTube artist, Sarah Renee Clark, she actually did a whole investigation into fake Prismacolor pencils and how you know which are real and which are fake. So yeah, let's get opening these up. Actually, one thing I wanted to do, sounds weird. I wanted to weigh these because I feel like weight could give away a lot. Okay, so firstly, we will weigh the Michaels set, 50.9 ounces these ones 49.9 they're a whole ounce less in weight i mean does, what does that tell us could tell us maybe the packaging slightly different inside but it could also tell us the wood is different it could tell us what the material it's made of is different i don't know but i feel like that in itself says a lot but over the last few years there has been a huge topic of debate over whether certain prismacolor pencils can or are fake and inside i think i pretty much have my answer just just based on first look but i don't know for sure until i use them but right off the bat then more of a satin finish which prisma colors don't tend to be satin unless they've changed something at some point or used to have this prisma color pencils generally aren't a satin finish these pencils are a few years old now and as you can see they tend to be quite of a glossy finish to them. This one is not a Prismacolor pencil. I don't know. They just, they tend to be a little bit more glossy than that. So we'll keep the Timu at the top here and then opening up the Michael set. Yeah, immediately, immediately different paint floor right here. They seem to be in the exact same order at least. So that's good. I'm going to take this first row out here and compare it to this one. The thing is, I can blatantly tell which one's Timu and which one isn't based on the way that they're finished. Can you visually see a difference in these pencils? This is yellow ochre. This one is also yellow ochre. The one at the top is the Michaels. The one at the bottom is the Timu. I'll be honest, the Timu one is a lot cleaner looking, like the logo and everything. It's a lot cleaner. The top two are from Michaels. The bottom two are from Timu. They are in fact indented with Mexico. Again, it's the finish that's different. I will say though, attention to detail is very impressive. This is the Michaels one. The paint job on this is really quite poor. There is definitely a weight difference here too. I'm actually gonna weigh them again too. So the Prismacolor, two of the Prismacolor equals 0 0.4 ounces, 0 0.5. They're, they're very smooth. I feel like you would think, oh, look how messy this one is on the right. That's gotta be like a fake one, right? But that one is actually this the one from Michaels, whereas this is the one from Timu. This one, these look better. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of imperfections in these. I think these are better, just based yeah. on my... I agree, they look better for sure. But well, these are the Timu ones. I'm surprised. Yeah. I think, I don't know, I just, I like them better. They I do look like, a lot cleaner, I will that's, say. That's not good if that's how they're... I know, for a $180 pencil set, I agree. Like the, the paint mm -hmm. issues they have. Mm, these felt lighter, I think. Yeah, I, I weighed them and these were like 0 0.1 ounces lighter mm. than these ones. Something really interesting to note is that these Prismacolor pencils, notice how these just do not line up whatsoever. All of them are all over the place. Whereas this one, is perfect. The funny thing is, I just watched Sarah's video and she pointed out that even though her Prismacolors were real, this does not line up and it doesn't mean that they're not real. It just sometimes Prismacolor pencils do come with weird paint jobs or like cracked wood off center. And it's like these ones are almost too perfect to be Prismacolor, which is kind of sad and also kind of bad that 
you pay that much for a Prismacolor pencil, I think what throws people off is the fact that sometimes Prismacolor pencils can look a little dodgy. Now I want to swatch them because the biggest telltale sign of maybe a pencil that isn't a Prismacolor is the way that it feels. It goes on a very specific way. It has this kind of waxy feel to it. Um, so I'm gonna just start off with a swatch, then I'm actually gonna use them in a coloring page. I'm gonna be using the Joanna Basford coloring book. Her books are just incredible. She actually sent this one to me very kindly. I'm gonna link them in the description because if you're looking for a coloring book, it's amazing. Take my word for it. Okay, so we'll just do it like that just to keep it nice and simple. And I'm gonna use the same shades to just kind of obviously compare if they look similar. Looking at the actual colors of the, the paint, all of the colors look basically identical in both sets. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with some of the reds. So we have pomegranate and I'm just gonna be pressing really lightly to start off. And then I'm gonna use the pomegranate of the Timu version of Prismacolor. I'm gonna be honest with you, colors look exactly the same to me and they feel exactly the same. I was honestly not expecting this to feel the same, but we're obviously gonna try different colors as well just to see. So this is spring green. These ones are very different. I don't know if you can tell, but they're definitely different and I don't know if it's because one is shiny, one isn't, but there is definitely a visual difference to these two. This has a classic Prismacolor feel to it. I'm gonna try pressing harder as well on this one. Okay, this one definitely feels more scratchy actually, but it looks the same again. And when you press harder, it sort of, it has that same waxy feel to it. Yeah, again, there's a slight difference, but it might just be the fact that it has a different finish. Yeah, this one does not have that same buttery feel at all. It like, it is, but it, it, it might just be my imagination at the same time. It definitely feels like it's the same, but at the same time, it feels different. This is a beautiful buttery Prismacolor feel. Let's try this one now. I'm gonna be honest, I honestly, if I didn't know any better, which maybe I don't, I almost feel like it, it's a Prismacolor, but a Prismacolor that was made somewhere else, like a different manufacturer. But to my knowledge, they only manufacture them in Mexico. It's kind of like food where you look at Europe ingredients versus US ingredients in certain foods and it's the same product with different ingredients. This is almost what it feels like. It feels like a Prismacolor, but maybe some of the, it, it feels, I don't know, because it feels legit. Genuinely feels like a regular Prismacolor. I can't really criticize it because it feels like a regular Prismacolor to me. 99.99% of the time feel exactly the same and maybe the other 0.1% is my imagination. Once again, the ones from Timu look very perfect, whereas the ones I bought from Michaels, not so much. So if you did not really know any better, you might actually mistakenly think that the more perfect ones are the ones I bought from Michaels and they're not. They're so much shinier. The Brill Prisma colors are so much shinier than these ones are. As I'm working on this coloring book, I honestly cannot differentiate one from the other. I'm deliberately using a lot of colors. So it looks a little gaudy. It doesn't look like a very cohesive coloring page, but I'm deliberately doing it so I can use a bunch of different colors and shades just to really give them a good go. And Kind of like with standard Michaels Prismacolors, some feel really buttery smooth, some feel a little scratchier. I would say the same case for these ones I got from Timu. But honestly, if I did not know any better, I would just think that they were both from Michaels based on how they feel. They do not feel really any different to me personally. Blendability wise too, they blend really well. Like something quite common with Prismacolor pencils is how well they blend because of their finish. And these blend, I mean, I can't criticize how they're blending because they blend very well. One of the ways that you used to be able to tell if a, a Prismacolor pencil was like real or not, you looked for the Mexico stamp because that's where the factory is, that's where they're made. And that's where they've been made for the last 14 years. Like I would say 98% exactly the same and maybe they are exactly the same, but really, really scrutinizing them. I'm like, maybe it's just me. The thing that just leads me to, be a little bit iffy on this is they are literally just like too perfect. I think since they did move their products production line to Mexico, people were complaining about the quality control, 
but people don't really care because the pencils work great. Okay, so this is how they both turned out. This is by no means like super well done. They're all very hodgepodge in colors and everything. But I just wanted to try out a ton of different colors, try different blending methods with them. Honestly, they look the same. They work and feel the same. Once again, really the only difference is the way that they look, the way that the packaging is printed on those pencils and the fact that they're not cracked or badly painted. So let me know your thoughts. I'm really, really curious to know. But yeah, for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see me try something similar to this in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And for now, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. I'm just gonna pop in and talk a little bit more about our sponsor today, Squarespace. I have really been wanting to make some changes to set myself up for the future recently, especially career-wise. And honestly, I have not updated my Chloe Rose Art website in so long. Whenever I'm updating websites, it's always related to other parts of my business. Once everything with the wedding and the book and the other stuff going on in my life is kind of calming down a little bit. I'm gonna sit down and update it because websites are just the way of the world for showcasing yourself. Whether you wanna sell products, services, memberships, classes, you can do all of it with Squarespace. Physical products, digital products, live classes, members only content, and so much more. I love, 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 love that you can have your own member areas on your website as well. So whether you're an artist, you're into fashion or health, gardening, you can do pretty much anything with it. And for me, the most value will really be in the simple website building. Squarespace also makes it so easy to sell custom merch. You pretty much just design the product and the Squarespace features handles the productions, inventory and shipping for you. They have this thing called Fluid Engine and it just makes it easier than ever to customize every design detail. So no need to learn to code, you drag and drop and everything is just seamless between devices like phones, tablets. So if you wanna check out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Chloe Rose Art to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video.